So I've decided to do something a little crazy. I'm going to try and complete the legacy challenge in 10 days. So 10 generations in 10 days in The Sims 4. For you guys, that'll be 10 parts here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, because these are gonna be coming out fast. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. Like this could be a really, really bad idea. I just wanna give this a go and try and do like a mega epic speed run of The Sims. <laughs> Wish me luck. So jumping into create a sim, I've actually made my two founders and because we have to do this so quickly, I've even got um, Stella here. I was about to say knocked up. Seems a bit crass, doesn't it? She's expecting a baby. She's actually pretty money driven and she just loves wearing like bright colors. And she's actually also a teacher. So she's already got a job. Love this matching tracksuit. And she's family oriented. And then she is married to Harper here. They really want successful lineage. They're also a bookworm. Their style's a little bit more like loose and comfortable, but still quite stylish in my opinion. So this is Harper. And if you guys are not familiar with the Legacy Challenge at all, basically the aim of the Legacy Challenge is to get to 10 generations. That's within one Sim family. So there are numerous websites online that have full blown like point systems and rules and it can become quite complex, but I just want to try and have 10 generations like. Now, I think for starters, we should put the gameplay lifespan too short because that would make the most sense for doing a speed run. And this is our cute little starter home in Brindleton Bay that I've built. If you want a speed build of this, just let me know in the comments down below. But as you can see, no, I haven't forgotten to paint this wall. They are midway through renovations for their child. Also, while I was setting this up, a sim died on my front step. I don't know, I know this is like a horrible thing to do, but I think we should just sell this. Poor Minerva charm. I can't sell this, well, what am I, am I meant to do? I have to dump it somewhere. We need to have a graveyard in The Sims 4. Like we desperately need that lot type. Comment down below if you want graveyards. So one of my favorite things to do when I start a new Let's Play is give a little tour of the starter home. So this home is just a little bit past a starter maybe now. It might be just over 20,000. But yeah, it's very small, it's very cute. And here is their bedroom. Stella's working on, I think she's like grading homework. Uh oh, we need to do a vacuum. Little uh, bathroom, ill in here. She's been a bit sick from her pregnancy. And then you can also get to the bathroom through this door in the corridor. And this is actually going to be our renovated area. So I think this will turn out being the baby's room. And Harper here, they are a lawyer. I think they're a paralegal at this stage. They're aiming to be a lawyer and we've got to take a lawyer test. Um, and then just through this wall, this is the other part of the renovations. And I want to push the kitchen back to here. So I thought it was kind of cute to show it as like half done and to keep it a little, a little interesting. Let's mic some babies. Oh, well, we already have a baby on the way. So Stella is education four. Um, and I think they're in their third. Oh, they're in their second trimester, almost going into the third in six hours. They're both young adults about halfway through tombstone somewhere okay let's just place in the world here no don't go inside <laughs> oh no where are you gonna place it okay is this in the middle of the road no nah, it's just it's right in the middle of the park that's that's great just a tombstone before you go into that nice park area look it's not our problem now I guess Minerva likes being the center of attention. What can I say? Okay, let's try and cheer Harper up and also ask to volunteer some time because that's part of Stella's work is to get some volunteers. How cute is her matching set while she's pregnant? Love it. So Harper needs to pass the lawyer's exam. So I feel like we should do that right now. Like get it done before the baby gets here. Let's take the lawyer's exam. Now, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to fail this, so I'm sure we'll be okay on pass. Wait, why are you going to bed? No, do your lawyer exam. You're definitely putting this off. Oh, and Hector Laurent is here. Hector's actually one of our clients. Chat about the scandalous lawsuit, yes. Okay, I don't know if you should be repairing this whilst pregnant, but we're just gonna go for it anyway. Why is everything breaking around here? Okay, I don't know what's going on, but either my sim is really badly glitched or they do not want to take this exam and they are refusing to. Uh, whatever, I'll just put them to bed. 
Now, Harper wants to spend 1,000 simoleons on kids stuff. And Stella, she's just wanting to make more money. So maybe we'll wait until we get to 5K in reserve and then we'll renovate the rest of the house. I love how Hector was just here until 11.30 while we were in bed. They already passed the lawyer's exam. So they didn't really do anything. They, it, you just click on the computer and that's it. I thought this whole time it wasn't working. Okay, well, it is the morning. Yeah. It is a new day. Stella's on family leave now and about to burst, I think. Give birth at any, at any moment. We're ready for our second generation. Um, so we're definitely gonna work from home. And Harper might work from home as well, because I want to make sure that we're around in case, you know, the water breaks. We don't want to miss having the baby. Oh, and we made $6,000. Oh, wait, but Stella hasn't earned $5,000 themselves yet. The baby might come before the nursery's ready. Yay, we got to level four of the research and debate skill. Beautiful. We also need to attend a deposition. And I just want to make sure that Harper here is doing really well at the career so we can have enough money to renovate the house, live comfortably, and for our future generations. In this speed legacy challenge I'm doing on Twitch, I live stream on Twitch, some of you guys don't know. Oh, I love this summer outfit. How good do they look? Oh my gosh, love it. Oh dear. Did she soil herself? Oh, Stella, girl. <laughs> Usually I, I like to plant a garden because then the future generations can just garden and get money from that. But I kind of felt like it was too easy and I, I wanted my Sims to have more like basic jobs so we didn't get rich too quickly. Oh my gosh, Stella, wet yourself. Oh, poor thing. I feel so bad. We only need to make 200 simoleons and then Stella has leveled up in their aspiration. Another part of legacy challenges is to try and get your Sims to get through their aspirations or climb their work ladder, just have a really successful family. And then through that, you gain more points. So I just want my Sims to be as successful as possible and have a be their, be their best life that they possibly can in this 10 generations and 10 day challenge. And we also need to tutor a student online. I always get confused with family leave because I'm like, my sim's still working. So what is the family leave? So let's tutor our students about health. We stand good health. I'm so ready for this baby. Hector Laurent is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Yes, actually, because we need to meet a prospective client. So I think Hector's already our client, so I don't think we can. Oh my gosh, Hector. Holy moly, this is where Hector lives? Good Lord. Wow, I'm glad we have him as a client. This house is gorgeous. I think this was actually built by a game changer. So Greta Laurent. Okay, let's do a friendly introduction and see if Greta also wants to be our client. Greta's stunning. I love that Greta has purple eyes. Does her dad, I mean, I assume this is her dad, but I guess you never know these days. Okay, his eyes aren't purple. Jace's eyes aren't purple. I actually Googled once if it's possible to have purple eyes because of the Sims. I was like, wait, can people actually have purple eyes? It is possible to have purple eyes naturally, but I think it's a sign of usually like a malnutrition. I might be wrong about that though. Okay, meet prospective clients. Harper would be such a good lawyer. I mean, look at the clients we have. I'm pretty sure like we're good at what we do, clearly. Should we give them like a welcome to our client list gift? We can give them cereal. So every client we get, we give them cereal. Honestly, would not be mad about that. I mean, maybe a little strange, but she likes it. Okay, well, it's so good to chat. Let me know if you have any troubles. Just call me at any time. My wife's about to give birth, so I gotta run. Literally running. <laughs> we are in desperate need for fun. Do you think we can woohoo? Or is it just too close to the baby time? Oh, okay, we are actually in labor. Not the time for a woohoo, folks. She's lucky we came home. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we should have the baby before eating, you know? <laughs> I mean, do people eat when they're giving birth? Is anyone like, I really want a burrito right now? Or surely you eat during labor because labor can be like 24 hours. I reckon that I will have Mexican. All right, here we go. It is baby time. Woo! 
second generation coming on in. How exciting. Hopper, where are you? Can you be in the room, please? I don't know what it is with my Sims partners, but they just do not want to be in the room when there's... Oh my gosh, where did she go? Where did she go? Yay, we just gave birth to a baby boy. Oh, this baby needs a name. What would you like to call him? I'm just wondering if we want to do like themed names every generation, like a family tradition. Let's maybe do nature names. We want to be in touch with nature. Let's do Rain Sullivan. Yay, we had a baby. So now we're at generation two because our founders were generation one. And the role that Rain has is to find another Sim to have a child with. Love that her nails are fully like manicured during the pregnancy. Oh, little baby Rain. Doesn't look too happy. <laughs> Doesn't Stella look amazing though? Hop is like, I'm going home to bed. Hop up. Your dream, your asp, oh, the baby's gone. Your aspiration and dream is to have a successful family. How do you think they're gonna be successful if you're not there for them? I guess it's overwhelming. I wish we could change the baby's outfit. Also this cot I think was by Charlie Pancakes. It just overrides the usual games cot. Aw, Hoppa, that's beautiful. Now I guess because this is a legacy speedrun challenge, technically because the game allows us to, we could age up the baby right away. Or in some legacy challenges, they say you have to wait until the kid's birthday or say once the kid, like when they're a toddler onwards, they have to achieve a couple of things before you can age them up. But I say we just go for it. Let's not wait. We aren't the, the regular legacy challenge here on the Delicacy channel. So let's age up. Here we go, rain aged up. I don't know if we should randomize traits and aspirations or if we should pick them. I kind of like the idea of you guys picking them. These toddlers love their freedom. They're independent. Yes, oh, rain's a brunette. Okay, well rain, uh, rain's gonna need like a bedroom, but I don't want to spend any money yet because Stella hasn't, oh wait, maybe we can spend the money. Actually, I think we can just spend the money. Oh, so this whole time I have been thinking we need to have that money in reserve, but we actually don't. <laughs> Great. Well, let's quickly um, just renovate the house a little bit. I'm gonna push this kitchen all the way back, you guys. Whoa, big runner. Oh, thank God, this will give us more space to, you know, breathe. I mean, obviously we're gonna need to buy a few more things and do more than what we have at the moment, but we'll just keep it simple for now. You know, the baby's arrived. That's already a very big deal. Oh, and I love that we still have this brick wall from our house renovation. And change the flooring as well. Yeah, I'm going full tiny Twavlers CC set in here. But I did forget how expensive it is and also the fact that we don't have a lot of money. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I just spent a thousand dollars on a kid's lamp. Oh my God, what was I thinking? Okay, I had to dial back a bit on the price as much as I wanted to do the tiny, tiny twavelers. This is still a cute room. And I kept the nice big wardrobe because that's going to be in, in the family for generations to come. This is the thing you have to think about when you do a legacy challenge. The years ahead and all the furniture your Sims need to use for many years to come. I think I might just have one kid for this generation, which is sometimes a little risky because if they die, then you don't have another heir. But I guess if that happened, then we could adopt. Carp is up to their next aspiration level. So we need to read to a child and socialize. So let's tell a story, read a toddler book, bright and day, all of those good things. Stella's recovering from birth. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, I think we're gonna have to switch parenting to Stella. Stella can do a little bit of potty training. Potty training. 3 a.m. potty training, you guys. Good job, Rain. Doing well. Checking yourself out there. Good job. Oh, I love this family. I'm starting to get attached to them. Now, Harper wants to read to a child for two hours, but I don't know if that means that because it's a toddler, they're not a child, or if it's their child, so they've just got to read to them for two hours. I'm not really sure. Rain will age up in three days, so we're just gonna wait until we can age Rain up when it's their birthday. I know technically we could just make a cake and age Rain up now, but then that's, I feel like then we're not gonna do anything. 
I feel like that's too easy. So we will wait until three days time when rain is ready to age out. I finished our renovation for now. Obviously the house is gonna get better and better, but I think this is definitely a big improvement since what it previously was. So love this. It's very cozy, very uh, family friendly. <gasps> we have to make a birth certificate wall. And we should also photograph every sim in our family. In here can be the birth certificate wall. We could do family photos here. Okay, guys, let's get you into some nice outfits and we'll take a picture at least of our founders to begin with. Okay, take a photo of Stella and then Stella can take a picture of them. Stella, really? <laughs> what is with Stella's poses? Can we just get an... Oh my gosh, Stella. Okay, this is nice. Okay, this is really cute, this picture. Maybe we do a couple of these as well. I feel like that captures their personality really well. I'm so not a vest person, but I love Harper's vest. Okay, Harper, work it, work it. Yes. It'd be nice to capture their outfits because then we get to see and remember their style. And then I guess we'll take a picture when rain ages up. Oh, isn't that sweet? Look. Okay, this is really creepy, you guys. Um, Minerva Charm, the ghost, is just like making white birthday cakes. There's one there, there's one here by Minerva as well. Like, I don't really, I find it creepy personally. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you want to get to know Vladdy Daddy more? I think go for it. We love a vampire. I'd be friends with a vampire in real life. Whoa, Stella. We reached the 5,000, you guys. Oh, girl, look at you go. Okay, mama needs some sleep because soon your toddler's gonna be a child. And that's just gonna be a whole other ball game. Wait, this is so weird. We can't even like, we can't even do anything with the cake except for eat it. Like we can't put it away, can't clean it up. What is going on? Before rain ages up into a child, I just wanna try and get them upping as many skills as possible. They're already level three at movement, level two potty skill. Like they're doing pretty well. Aww. Oh my gosh, Stella's been promoted to department head. Well done, Stella. That's pretty impressive after just taking time off for maternity leave. But she did work while she was on my maternity leave. Okay, I don't know why she's always in this like hospital outfit either. Like just randomly she changes into it. I don't know, maybe they're really comfy. I've never worn one before. Today is Little Rain's birthday. They're gonna be aging up to a child. I've played through their entire three days of their toddler lifespan. And everyone's in a really good mood. Also got to like level three in three skills, which is pretty awesome. No needs cheated, but needs are doing pretty well. And it's also Harper's birthday today as well. Okay, so Harper's made this beautiful birthday cake. Let's add candles before any of the Sims try and eat it and will help Rain blow out the candles and age up to a child. I guess we have to have a baby every episode. All right, here we go, aging up. One, two, three, and let's go, let's go. Nice, Rain has aged up. I think I'm gonna pick an aspiration for them. I think they're gonna be a little genius. Sorry, their trait will be genius and their aspiration can therefore be mental. But I'm gonna let you guys pick what um, what you would like. Oh, and before we have a look at Rain in child form, let's also get Harper to blow out these candles or else Harper's gonna be really sad we forgot about their birthday. You don't want your Sims being sad about a missed birthday. You know, the guilt's too much for me. So Harper's now an adult. Rain is a kid. Oh, how sweet. Rain, um... I think Rain looks more like Stella. Well, at least hair color, skin color. Aw, so cute. Well, you guys, I might finish off this part right here. In the next part, we're going to have to get Rain to age up to a young adult, meet someone, have a baby, and then get them to a child. There's so much to do. But let me know if you've been enjoying this. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll also be posting a vlog on my vlog channel tomorrow. So subscribe there too if you want. Yeah, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Back, back.